Hey guys, I took a day off from work today to go to a feet funeral. Um, no one close to me, but um, a funeral I needed to be at. So I thought I'd go ahead and sit down and record a video for you guys and let you know what we have planned for the month of June. So let's just jump on into it. June. June of last year, 2016, was horrible. Horrible. I still have nightmares about June. We ended up having to go like $6,000 into debt. That was the last time we went into debt to take care of a financial situation. So not having to use the overdraft or a credit card, which we don't have anymore or whatever, that's freaking fantastic. We've done that for a whole year, lived on only cash. That's amazing to me. I'm so, you have no idea how excited I am about it. Let's go ahead and jump on into this bad boy. Utilities, same 188 that it is for our cell phones every month and the same $355 for the storage unit. And again, I promise you, I will address the storage unit with a video because every video I put out, somebody asked me about the storage unit, but I swear to you, it is so much smarter for us financially to pay that 355 every month than sell everything in it. We've got some pretty expensive stuff in there so that we can't bring into this house. So I promise, promise, promise that I'm going to be getting something out to you as soon as the weather gets better. It just seems like every weekend that I wanna do it, ends up being a bad weekend where it's raining or Mauricio can't go with me and I don't want to drive all the way out there by myself. Transportation, I still have the car wash service in there. It did get shut off. Um, we did get charged for it. Again, I got notification that it was turned off this time. So I'm going to keep it in there. Hopefully we won't need it this month. Hopefully they will actually close it down. But Mauricio has been talking about signing up for Lyft. So probably right about the time they shut it down, he's going to need another car wash service. Same $400 for gas. Same $70 that I have every month for the toll road on our um, local toll area that Mauricio uses all the time. And the same $50 that I have every month for an oil change. Now, June, for Melina's school tuition, we have to pay a full month of tuition the way it is divvied up by her school. So annoying. It's 10 months of school, so whether it's a full month or not, they just divide the total amount into 10. And so we still have the $14.79, even though she will be out of school on the 9th, unfortunately, we'll have to pay for summer camp as well. So that's gonna be another $595 for the last two and a half weeks of the month of June for summer camp. It happens every June, it's super annoying, but it happens. So we know it was gonna happen and we're expecting it. In our stores category, I have $150 for Amazon and that basically covers all of, you know, deodorant, toothpaste, whatever. Usually we buy those at Amazon. We don't go to the drugstore because we can actually get them way cheaper than the local drugstore here um, on Amazon. So we try and go the, the most cheaply. Unfortunately, last month we ran out, we weren't paying attention and we were out. So we actually had to physically go to the drugstore. And, you know, it was like little stuff and it ended up costing a small fortune. So we will not be doing that again. What else do we buy on Amazon? I put that in there for things that I don't expect. Like, for example, Melly had Disney Day at school in May. And I didn't know. I didn't know she was going to have Disney Day, and I'm not at all bitter about that. And I found out, like, two days ahead of time. So I bought her a pair of Minnie Mouse ears to wear. Because we didn't have, oddly enough, we didn't have any Disney clothes in the house. So, um... So I just bought a pair of Minnie Mouse ears and had them um, shipped next day delivery. It was free with Prime. So, you know, it's those kind of things that I have that Amazon money in there for. And then, of course, we have $40 for the dry cleaner because all my suits are so annoying that they have to be dry cleaned. But, you know, it's part of being a big bad boss, I guess. Insurance and tax, same. USAA insurance, $159. 
73. The stupid insurance that I signed up for when we got our loan for $12, which basically covers us if um, Mauricio or I die, it will pay off that loan. It's annoying, I can't get out of it. I tried, it's $12 a month. Wendy's, Wendy's life insurance is 91.65. Yes, 91.65. And that comes every month. Mauricio's life insurance is $35.83. And eventually down the road, in all honesty, I would like to have a sinking fund that saves up all of these payments so I can pay them in one lump sum at the beginning of the year. But that will involve us making payments one year and saving payments one year. So double payments, and this is not the year for that. <laughs> The giving category, June is a crazy giving month for us every year. It is Father's Day. So that means my father, Mauricio, and Mauricio's father all need gifts. My dad and Mauricio's dad will get $50 gifts and Mauricio will get a gift from me and a gift from Alina for $100. Um, I would totally love to get Mauricio an Apple Watch, but I priced them. They're like $600 and I'm just not doing that this year. Mm -mm. Honey, I know you're watching this. I love you, but no Apple Watch. I'm sorry. I know you would love it, but mm -mm, can't do it. And then on top of that holiday, it is my father-in-law's birthday and um, Mauricio's sister's husband's birthday. So we get each one of them a gift for $50 each. So our giving category, and and as always, we, we have the money that we give to my parents for monthly expenses in this category, but I blocked that out because that's between them and us. But that expense covers, you know, food and utilities and whatever um, expenses. Miscellaneous category, we have the iTunes auto drafts. Those are $30. I have my standard Weight Watchers for $44.95. Blow money, for $200, $100 for Mauricio and $100 for me for the month. And then Mauricio's haircut is $25. And this month I wised up. I'm tired of having a miscellaneous category that gets filled up with annoying little expenses that my husband does. So I have put $5 into the miscellaneous category for parking meters for Mauricio. Because in DC, the parking meters are swipey parking meters that you swipe with Apple Pay or with your card or whatever. And so he's constantly running, you know, 20 cents, 15 cents, whatever here and there. $5 should easily cover it. Go wild, Mauricio. You got five whole dollars for parking expenses now. Don't tell Mauricio this one. $10 for vending machine junk food for Mauricio. I know, I know, junk food out of a vending machine. Why would anyone eat that? Ask Mauricio, I don't understand it. I think it's gross, but I am putting $10 in there and I know he's gonna watch this video and he's gonna be like, woohoo. And of course the vending machine is going to probably double, but I looked over the last six months and he never spends more than $10 on the vending machine. So we're gonna try it this way. And if I have to break his leg because he spent $20 on the vending machine this month, I will. Be forewarned, Mauricio, if you're watching this. I'll do it. So then we will be paying $4,811 to debt this month. And, you know, Connie Porter, uh, if you haven't checked out her channel, make sure you go check it out. I'll put a link down in the description box. She actually asked me if this includes our minimum payments. And it actually does, mostly because I am just too lazy to separate them out. So that $4,000, that $4,811 or whatever it is, that does include our minimum payments. It's not all extra money that we're putting towards debt. That would be just far too much math for me to separate them out to see what over we're doing. I just know we have this much money left in the budget, so we're gonna dole it out and put it to the debt we're paying off in our snowball. So that one's always the one that gets the big round number. Then we have our cushion category, which has $100, which for the last three months we have blown through twice. Yeah. So we are going to try and get as close to under $100 this month as physically possible because I'm tightening the belt. Mauricio may not like it, but we're tightening it up. And then in my YouTube category, we have TubeBuddy for $4.50, Backblaze for $5, and PicMonkey for 
And of course, my favorite category, the sinking funds. We have our medical sinking fund, our car repair replace sinking fund, our Christmas sinking fund, our emergency trip to Columbia sinking fund, and miscellaneous school expenses for Molina sinking fund. And of course, as you all know, I just did a video on our sinking funds and a review of Capital One 360, which I love mostly because I have sinking funds now. I never knew I would love sinking funds, but I do. And so I will put a link to that up in the eye in the sky, which, you know, five years from now, they will, I'm sure YouTube will have moved it and it'll be down here and somebody will be watching that video and be like, what's the eye in the sky? But whatever, for now, it's an eye in the sky. So if you want to watch that video, click on it and I'll give you, I give you a pretty honest review of the pros and the cons of Capital One 360 for sinking funds. It's, it's good. I'm, you know, I'm used to the irritation, the little irritants that I did have with it. So I, you know, six months in, I'm totally okay with it now. Did I tell you that my parents' refrigerator and dishwasher died in the same day? In the same day, seriously, what is up with that? So it sounds like I heard the um, repairman leave. So now I can go down and find out what the damage is on that. Hopefully it, they'll both be fixable and it won't cost them too much too much money to repair them or replace them. If they have to replace them, it's going to cost a lot. But I will tell you, one of the things that I'm learning living with my parents is the kind of things that you need sinking funds for. And once we have a place where we will be responsible for the appliances, I don't know if we get a rental, we might have a refrigerator and washer and all of those things in the rental contract, or maybe not. If we don't, I will immediately set up a sinking fund for repairs on appliances because those things they happen all the time and they are so annoying the dishwasher it was working fine and then it just started filling up with water and i would drain it it'd fill up again and drain it fill it up and drain it and then apparently one day while i was at work everybody was gone my parents came home and the entire kitchen was flooded sucks for them so anyway, little thing, totally random side note that I will probably take out of this video. If you are new to my channel to introduce myself, I'm Wendy Valencia. I do this every month. And then at the end of the month, I tell you how the month went. So make sure you click on my big laughing face above my head so you can subscribe to my channel and you can see us walk through this whole debt free process and get a happier home. I'll see you in the next one. See ya!